on your radar, Kim. Well, Joe Rogan is questioning whether or not the white nationalist group Patriot Front is real or another FBI operation. Uniformed white nationalist group marches on Lincoln Memorial. CNN's all in. They're like, we're all in on this. Come on, show us. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Where's the fat people? <laughs> How come they're all wearing the same clothes? Do that again. What the f is this? Is that have you ever seen anything that looks more like feds? Tell me that doesn't look like feds. Right? It's like the 101st Airborne. Bro, look at this. These guys are all runners. These guys look like they just got out of buds. I mean, look, the f out of here. They could be real. Right. They could be they real. Could, they could be real. Listen, Matt Taibbi, I'm an unreliable source and I'm a comedian. <laughs> but looking at that, I'm calling bull. Give me that well, again. Give me that again. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, well, this gets back to like the the, the Oklahoma Ivermectin story, where where you, right, where they're all wearing winter winter coats. Yeah, like you, yeah. you know. Look at this. The f out of here. How do they all have like uniformed outfits on? They have the same color pants for the most part. Very little variation. They have tan or brown pants, dark blue shirts with a fucking stupid flag on it. This f got a drum. Back that up. Look at the f***ing drum. F are you Paul Revere? It's what the f are you doing with that drum? He's walking around with it's, a band drum. It's like white a high power drum band. line. This is so stupid, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, the march Rogan is referring to happened this past Saturday, December 4th, in Washington, D.C. There were about 100 to 200 demonstrators. They all wore matching jackets khaki pants, carried flags or shields, and seemed fairly organized, marching to the beat of a snare drum. Because they were so seemingly organized, others besides Rogan wondered the same thing. Comedian and author Tim Young wondered, was today's Patriot Front parade just the FBI spending their end of year use it or lose it budget? Host Mr. Reagan tweeted, so the feds have a new fake militia group called Patriot Front. This is a laughably poor attempt at trying to trick conservatives into committing acts of terrorism. But it's also incredibly disturbing that they're that they're doing this at all. So this made me curious. I'd never heard of this group and I wanted to dig deeper. Who are they and what are they about? Could it be that Joe Rogan's suspicions are right and this is an FBI operation? Or is this group very real and a genuine growing threat? Or is this group real and not really a growing threat, but one that can easily be ignored instead? Well, it turns out the group began in 2017 after the Charlottesville Unite the Right rally that resulted in the murder of Heather Heyer. That rally was organized by a group called Vanguard America. But apparently after the chaos and violence, there was some infighting between the main leader of the group and one of his underlings. Ultimately, the underling, Thomas Rousseau, who was 18 at the time, decided to leave Vanguard America because of the violence and start his own group that he called Patriot Front. So the group is decidedly nonviolent but they do believe that the country should be run exclusively by people of European ancestry. They do think people from different places and backgrounds can live in America, and they state they believe they can even be good citizens, but they should not be considered Americans nor make decisions for the country. They spend a lot of time talking about the corruption of our government and how bought off they are by corporations. They are very anti-drug. None of their members can use substances. They say the Americas were conquered by the colonizers, not stolen, and seem to be very proud of this. They say they believe in revolution and resisting tyranny, but I haven't seen any photos of any of them with any firearms or weapons. In fact, the worst thing this group seems to do is hang posters advertising themselves and tagging buildings with their slogans. That what stands out about this group and where one could come to the conclusion that this really is an FBI operation is how polished and organized they are. First of all, their website is extremely professional with well-done graphics, professional photos, and even a cinematic video trailer. It's almost too professional. Their social media posts are uniform and look like they're managed by a social media expert. Everything is color-coordinated and themed. Even their graffiti is done with stencils. Their manifesto sounds like it's read by a professional voice actor. Nothing is sloppy. Snooping around their social media posts, you'll see videos and photos of the members who are relatively young looking, participating in boot camp style athletic drills and doing boxing workouts. They go on hikes and excursions and they always, always wear matching uniforms and white face coverings. They've held several marches around the country similar to the one held in, in DC. In places such as, uh, they've held these marches in places such as Philadelphia, Salt Lake, Nashville, and San Antonio. And when looking to sign up for the group, they, the form explicitly asks the members to never divulge any information that would identify themselves. They protect their identities from the organization and from each other. So I'm not gonna lie, between their website, social media posts, cinematic trailer and manifesto and their organized marches, it's really hard to believe that some 18 year old kid did all of this. 
How would some kid even know how to put on boot style camp drills and keep the group organized? It looks like some it looks like the work of someone who ran military units. What makes me skeptical of this being some sort of FBI operation attempting to root out white nationalists is because it's a very nonviolent group. When posting about their marches, they always highlight that they were peaceful and conducted safely. They seek police escorts, and in one instance, when counter protesters engaged them, they ended their march to avoid any sort of violent conflict. One would think if this group is part of some sort of FBI operation, they would be attempting to engage in violence or illegal activity of some sort. For years, the FBI has run sting operations within the Muslim community in an attempt to root out terrorists. They would infiltrate Muslim communities, and once a person is deemed a suspect, the FBI would run a sting, op a sting op operation and often supply everything that was needed. For example, in 2009, a group of four Muslim men known as the Newburgh Four were charged with plotting to bomb two Jewish synagogues and shoot missiles at military supply planes planes. However, it turns out there was an FBI informant among them who basically schemed the whole thing and roped these men into it for money. He suggested the plot and the targets, bought the gun, provided the fake bombs and missile, assembled the explosive devices and drove them around. The Fort Dix Five was another FBI planned plot to attack New Jersey Army Base Fort Dix. The FBI informants plotted everything and supplied the weapons. The men who were convicted were really only guilty of being Muslim and expressing their disgust with the American wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. But nonetheless, the country had an appetite to find and stop terrorists, and so overzealous law enforcement went, law enforcement went to work. With the growing narrative of far right national, uh, far white far right white nationalists and Trump supporters being the country's greatest threat, we've seen the same FBI entrapment tactics being used. The attempted kidnapping of Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Gretchen Whitmer is one recent example where it was discovered that at least 12 undercover informants played major roles in the scheme. The Biden administration and Democrats in general are bent on selling this threat to the American public. So it makes sense why so many would be suspicious about whether or not organizations such as Patriot Front are actually real. So I can't say whether or not they are, but I can say from looking through their sites and watching their videos that if they are supported by someone uh, unidentified, it's likely someone with military training and definitely someone with money. So I'm curious if you guys think kind of looking at all of this, I mean, look, these kids, they have shields like the police style uh, riot shields and they're.